Howdy folks, welcome back to World of Tanks with the Mighty Jingles. Did you all have a good Christmas? You all looking forward to having a good New Year? Good. Did you get your brand new Christmas and New Year holiday special gift tank from Wargaming here in World of Tanks, the Panzer 2D? Have you had a go in it? It's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> it's absolute garbage. I mean, you know, free tank's a free tank, but it's bad. <laughs> this is basically... Um, a sort of high-speed cavalry version of the Panzer II. The Panzer II that's already in the game, and there it is, is a sort of combination of the A, B, C and F versions of the Panzer II. And it's not particularly slow. It'll do 40 kilometers per hour. It's not particularly unmaneuverable. It's got a 40 degree traverse speed. And it's got 30 millimeters of armor all over the front. So what exactly do you get out of the Panzer II D? Well, you get a 55 km per hour top speed and an extra 5 degrees of traverse. So it is fast and it is manoeuvrable. But is gaining that extra speed and manoeuvrability worth losing almost all of the armour and having an absolutely disastrous gun? <laughs> well, I think a lot of people have been discovering that the answer to that one is no. Yeah. I mean, you know, it mustn't grumble too much. It is a free tank, but it's a terrible free tank. <laughs> Oh, but Jingles, I've seen people getting really, really good scores in this tank. Well, yeah, that just means that they're good. It doesn't mean the tank is. I had, I think, two games in this thing before I thought, nope, sorry, not doing that anymore. This thing is a disaster. And so instead of trying to get a good game in the Panzer 2D, I loaded up the Panzer 2D Killers. <laughs> and I went seal clubbing because that's more fun. And what did I go hunting Panzer II Ds in? Well, the Panzer II. <laughs> the Panzer II absolutely feasts on the D version of the same tank. Um, I mean, this tank is the armour. Oh, man. 30 millimetres at the front of the hull. Everywhere else it's 14. Tier 1 tanks have no problems. No problems at all killing this thing. That's how bad it is. And, of course, the other tank that just absolutely feasts on the tears of Panzer II D drivers is the mighty, mighty Micro Mouse, the Panzer 38H 735F, or the 38H. This thing has 40 millimeters of armor everywhere. The Panzer II D has a gun with 23 millimeters of penetration. <laughs> so I've been having fun kicking the crap out of this thing. And I'm going to show you the sort of thing I'm talking about. Ah, province. 30 tanks, 20 of them are Panzer II Ds. This match was something like half an hour after this tank went live. I was actually in the middle of recording some uh, background footage for a video. When suddenly my screen went black, the server restarted itself and suddenly I had a Christmas garage. It completely ruined the recording. <laughs> and lo and behold, Panzer 2Ds in my garage. I had a couple of games, I thought, nope, sorry, this thing is garbage. 23 millimeters of penetration on the gun. It's pretty bad. The Panzer II here, on the other hand, has 30 millimeters of armor all over the front of the tank. Now, nobody would ever make the claim that the Panzer II was an overpowered tank, but it absolutely feasts on Panzer 2Ds. Uh, look at that guy. <laughs> And, well, he's going to have a go. <laughs> and so it begins. You just saw that Panzer 2D get obliterated trying to climb up that hill in front of you, didn't you? But you're special, aren't you? Yeah? No, I'm sure. No, I'm sure it'll work out for you. Let, let me know how that... It's not working out too well, is it? Nope. Nope. Oh, and your tracks have been blown off. And now you're dead too. So... Funnily enough, the first two tanks to die are both Panzer II Ds. This is a pattern that you're going to see repeating itself. <laughs> yes, anyway. The 20mm auto cannon here on the Panzer II. I don't quite have the engine power. It, it is not a very powerful machine. Oh, Cruiser 3. This 20mm flat gun is actually pretty good. And they've seen me. Lots and lots of little Panzer II Ds over there, and they're all shooting at the front of my tank, but they're 400 metres away, they have 23 millimetres of penetration, and I have 30 millimetres of frontal armour. <laughs> there is... 
and they're 14 millimeters of armor. I mean, my gun, these low tier auto cannons lose penetration with distance to a much, much greater degree than, you know, regular tank guns. But when you only have 14 millimeters of armor, <laughs> it really doesn't matter. Look at this. It really is like kicking puppies. Well, I mean, the seal clubbing and then the seal clubbing. I'm, I'm, it's not as if I'm driving an overpowered tank, it's just a Panzer II. And this game took place at something like four or five o'clock in the morning. You know, these weren't kids I was playing against. These are the guys who stay up all night playing World of Tanks. These are not new players. They have a fighting chance against me. Well, they don't really. <laughs> they might have had a fighting chance against me if they hadn't been driving Panzer II Ds. Just to give you an idea of how disastrously bad this tank is, if you go onto worldoftanksreplays.com and have a look... Oh, look at this. <laughs> this is the trick, by the way, when you're firing this auto cannon at extreme ranges like this. Don't just hold the trigger down. Fire in two-shot bursts, and you'll do more damage. Oh, I could have killed that other one, but I was focusing on this guy moving. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh yes, yeah. Ace Tanker in the Panzer 2D. If you go on to worldoftanksreplays.com and have a look at um, Panzer 2D games, you'll see people who've aced this tank by doing 200 damage. <laughs> <laughs> That's how terrible people's stats are in this machine. Look at these guys, they're thinking, oh, this guy's sitting here and he's not taking any damage. Well, yeah, but I've got 30 millimetres of armour everywhere. You have 14 millimetres of armour on your turret. These shots are actually hitting, by the way. <laughs> All I can see is his turret roof. Um, but, yeah, at that kind of angle. I'm going to shoot at this guy instead. Extreme range like that, but with 14 millimeters of armor, I can just pretty much hit them everywhere, and it's gonna penetrate. I need somebody to kill that guy up there. There's nobody behind us. The guys that have gone up ahead of me have thought, "No, screw that." <laughs> Panzer 2Ds with me there, just taking hit after hit after hit, and everything that hits them penetrates. Right, see this? There, I'm gonna get this guy if it's the last thing I do. Turret roof. Yeah. <laughs> Gotcha. Who's next? Ah. <laughs> Did you see that? See? That's how you kill something in a Panzer 2D. You drop off a cliff on top of them. <laughs> Panzer 2Ds, of course, are entirely capable of killing other Panzer 2Ds. Look, look, I'm even driving around backwards now. I just... I'm not, I'm not even scared. <laughs> what are you going to do? Come on, do your worst. Not interested? No? Okay. Right, who's next? Ooh, an actual challenge, a Panzer 38T, Czechoslovakian tank. Otto Karius commanded one of those, by the way. It was the first tank he was assigned to after tank school. Was, what do you mean, who's Otto Karius? Oh, what do they teach you kids at school these days? Famous Tiger driver. Um, where is he? There he is. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Lower glazes. Reload. Finish him off. He's just spamming his gun all over the place. Got him. And reload. And oh, oh, another Panzer II. But I have almost all my health. Ah. <laughs> oh no, a Panzer II D. Whatever shall I do? I know. Completely ignore him. Because <laughs> he's no threat. Well, he could kill me. But there's another Panzer 2D behind me that he's occupied with. He's actually going for something that he knows he can kill. And unfortunately, he, he's dead. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh well. Panzer 2, got his tracks back up. Too late. Got him. Who's next? Yeah, where are they all? Oh, there's one. Oh, and it's another 2D. And you know what? Just because I don't care, I'm only going to shoot it where his armor's thickest. <laughs> because it doesn't make any difference. Oh, oh, oh no, he's going to use his superior speed and maneuverability to get around me. Except I don't think he is. <laughs> no, in fact, he's going to track himself. Yeah, let me know how that extra speed and maneuverability is working out for you. Is it really worth the crappy armor and the terrible gun? I don't think so, but hey, Merry Christmas. Enjoy your new tank. 
So that is how easy it is to get Ace Tanker cool-headed and shell-proof in the Panzer II if two-thirds of all the tanks in your game are Panzer II Ds. It's not difficult at all. Oh, jingles, you're going to burn in hell for that. Well, not really. It was only a Panzer II. I am going to burn in hell for what you're about to see, though, because there's seal clubbing and then there's seal clubbing, and if you really want to seal club people in brand new gift tanks, you load up the captured Hotchkiss H35, the legendary Micro Mouse. Now, swift recap of the numbers. The gun on the Panzer II-D has 23 millimeters of penetration. It has something like just over 40 millimeters of penetration if they're using gold ammo. This tier two premium light tank has 40 millimeters of armor everywhere. Turret, hull, front, sides, and rear, 40 millimeters everywhere. That means that all of those Panzer II-Ds have to load premium ammunition to even have a chance of penetrating this tank's armour. I am going to burn in hell. <laughs> For the results of this game. And yet, you know, if you look at the history, then I should be screwed. I mean, the French in 1940 had over 800 of these Panzer... Well, they weren't called Panzers when they were being driven by the French. It was the Hotchkiss H-35. French had over 800 of them, and the Germans, using tanks like the Panzer II-D, beat them <laughs> and captured almost all of these French tanks. I don't think that's going to happen today, though. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, that's right. Empty your ore cannon at me. See if I care. <laughs> oh, how can something so wrong feel so good? Merry Christmas to you. Enjoy your new tank, and Merry Christmas to you too. Yeah, I, I, I really don't think you're going to win this fight. <laughs> That's right, back off, yeah. <laughs> there is absolutely no skill whatsoever involved in what I'm doing here, okay? Right. I don't want you looking at the results of this game thinking, wow, Jingles, you're good. I'm not. I'm <laughs> really not. I'm just driving a Panzer 735F. This, this tank is... Utterly ridiculous at tier 2. You can kill it though. You have to aim for the driver's hatch in the front. I've seen these tanks with most of their health intact, lying there dead. Shots at the turret ring or through the driver's hatch can knock the crew out completely. It only has two crew and with both of the crew dead, even though the tank still has all of its health, you've just lost the tank. You, you will, I'm not going to say often, <laughs> because it's a bugger to kill this little thing. But you will see these things lying dead with most of their health intact. Not in this game, though. <laughs> no skill involved in what I'm doing here whatsoever. I'm just driving right up to them, shooting them in the face, and then driving up to my next victim. I'm making some effort to angle my armor. Not that I really need to. <laughs> But then again, it's not, you know, it's not just... I don't need to angle my armour against the Panzer II-D. It's not with their terrible guns. But there's not just Panzer II-Ds in play here. Well, all right. Anything that would have been a threat to me is already dead. <laughs> I don't even have to try at this point. Hello. Merry Christmas to you too. How are you enjoying your new tank? It's good, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god, I bounced. Oh my god, I bounced again. Who am I going to kill? Yep, yeah, you'll do. Let's go for your little friend. Oh, choices, choices. Who are we going to go for? All right, aim for the turret, where he only has 14 millimeters of armor, rather than the hull, where he has 30. Yeah, where's your superior speed maneuverability now? Oh, no, there's two of them. Actually, no, there's only one of them. <laughs> this tank is absurd. Hello, somebody's shooting me. I can tell by the banging noise. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap, he's blown my tracks off. And my gun's damaged. Oh no, whatever will I do? I've actually taken some damage here. How is this possible? And he's keeping me tracked. Uh, and I've used my repair kit. Actually, I don't even have a repair kit on this thing. I've, I've just noticed. All I have is... Well, you do need a first aid kit on this thing. You definitely need a first aid kit. With only two crew, you badly need a first aid kit. Repair kit? Nah. Nah. Waste of time. Oh, hello. Tracks are back up. Right, yes, you're for it now. 
Look at this. If I had not been in this game, we'd have lost by now. No question about it. But I was, and I was in the H35, and so this was an absolute slaughter. And uh, and that's what Christmas is all about, isn't it? <laughs> Everybody's all excited, driving their new tanks, and you just crush all of their hopes and dreams <laughs> in the most ridiculously overpowered tank that there is at Tier 2. Well, with the possible exception of the T-18 tank destroyer, but that's not quite the machine that it used to be. Are we going to get this guy? Are we going to crush him, drive him before us and hear the lamentation of his repair crews? Oh, I think so. Oh, am I going to get him? I'm going to get him. Yeah. Oh, I got him. Hey. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Spreading some of the Christmas cheer around in Tier 2 games and World of Tanks. So Merry Christmas to you all. I hope you enjoyed your new Panzer 2D. It really is diabolically bad. So, the Panzer 2D, and how I have been having fun with the Panzer 2D over Christmas, by not playing the Panzer 2D, and instead playing things that feast on Panzer 2Ds. It's probably best if you don't think of it as a new tank, just think of it more as a free garage slot. <laughs> Hope you all had a Merry Christmas, and, uh, and have a great New Year. I'll catch you next time.